Good morning, 22nd of June, 2020, in uh, Slovakia, right under the Tatras. I have been here for two nights and have done no hiking or much of anything, as it's been raining the whole time. Today it's slightly cleared up, so I'm gonna go try some short hikes. I don't have equipment to get stuck out on the full day hikes. So, let's see. This is my house. I pretty much own it. I am the only guest. There is no tourism. Stay out of the car, spider. The mountains are in those clouds. Unseeable at the moment. My flight to go back to Saudi Arabia was just canceled. I guess they're having a massive outbreak. So at least another month for me to cruise around. I will see you from the trailhead somewhere up there. I don't know which one, I'm just gonna go find one. It's only two kilometers from where I'm staying. There's a restaurant, Poli... Poliankovo. And there's a board here with maps of trails. So I am here. Tatranska Poli... Polianka. And I think I'm gonna go up to Sliski Dome. So let's try that. About 10 minutes in. So far it's been on this single lane road. I passed one car. It was coming down and out. It's a gradual incline the whole way. Not very steep, not even moderate. It's not bad. But now going to switch to a path. It is drizzling. So getting a little bit moist. Hopefully it doesn't rain any harder than this or I'll be in trouble. Okay, about 45 minutes into the hike, I have come across a raging stream and quite tired, um, out of shape and haven't been sleeping well the last few days due to personal reasons. So let's see the stream. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see on a GoPro, but it's, you can hear it at least. I have passed nobody. The trail is all my own. The drizzle has turned into a light rain, and I am halfway to Sliski Dome. One hour to go. One hour to go, give or take. Still have not seen anyone else. All right, if you can hear me over the water, I think the stream is a little higher than usual. So this should be fun. If it swipes me off, this should make a good YouTube video. If someone finds this. And now the trail is flooded as well, so uh, the next 45 minutes should be fun. Hopefully the rain doesn't get worse, I won't be able to make it back. Should be nearing the top near the lake now. Um, popped out into an open space and it's quite cold. The temperature dro dropped quite a bit. Um, as you can see, a mountain is now in front of me. And it is still drizzling. And the path is actually just a stream, walking up the rocks in a stream. So keep on going, should almost be there. Made it to a vantage point. The sign says 15 minutes to Slitsky Dome. So 
going up the flooded creek bed is taking longer than expected. As you can see, it's a beautiful view. Walking in a valley between the mountains. And the fog just adds to it. Past uh, two old couples coming up, which I am very impressed. Good for the Slovaks. Uh, they were traveling together, so they are the only people I've seen. Over yonder is the valley where I started. I'm at the top, as you can see, and I am hiding because the weather is terrible. This reminds me of when I lived in Mount Cook, New Zealand. Uh, it is beautiful, but the wind is blowing and the rain is coming. It's going to be loud in the wind, so I will show you around and turn the volume down. Just had cappuccino inside the hotel, drying off a little bit, and there are more people than I expected here, having beers, and all much better dressed than I am. Rain pants, rain jackets, rain covers for their backpacks, everything. Luckily I have waterproof hiking boots, that's all I have though. Time to go back down, don't know if it shows, but the wind is blowing and it is raining quite a bit. All I have is a fleece, so once this gets soaked through, it's going to be quite uncomfortable. Um, it's supposed to be two hours down, but with those slippery rocks, if I don't bust my head open, I'm going to say it's more like three. So, yeah, it'll be an evening of drying off if I make it. I wish I had a sauna or a bathtub, something nice like that, but I have nothing. Maybe I'll move into a nicer hotel so at the end of the day I can get warm and dry and relax. We'll see. So if someone finds this and I did crack my head open, put it on YouTube please. Or if I make it, you'll see this today or tomorrow. I just passed the four old people that I passed coming up. It, I find, I am amazed if you could see it on my face. The half hour I spent up there drinking the coffee, they made it up this slippery rocks and a flooded creek bed. It's just, I'm amazed. I, my expectations must be too low of the human race. I've spent too much time with people that bitch about how difficult everything is and give up at the first sign of difficulty. Because this is impressive. They're at least 60, maybe 70. And they came up this. Uh, I'm not going to complain about getting wet a little bit. That's, they changed my outlook for the day. So just to show what they're... Them and I walked up and down. Well, they only walked up. It's nothing but flooded rocks and you can't escape on the sides. So... Very impressive. It is a beautiful hike though. If you make it to Slovakia, yeah, you'll enjoy yourself. Come on this hike. It's only the first one I've done. A week and a half more to go. About half an hour down from the hotel where it's warmed up out of the mountain range into the trees and only slipped twice. The second time was just recently. I almost bought it that time. It was close. Um, I am still incredibly impressed with the Slovaks. I just passed a couple with a baby. She is hiking up this with the baby strapped to it, her chest. And I'm just, yeah, strong people. At least the ones that are hiking in the mountains. I love it. All right, time to keep going.
now it's nice not a problem probably about 40 minutes from the bottom now I guess I started too early I was the only one going up except for the old couples coming down I'm passing lots of people all couples or uh, families some young couples too but there was a family of four and I ran into the same English predicament the mother asked me a question in Slovak I did the usual shoulders up English she looked at her sons teenage sons two of them asked them if they spoke English I guess that's what she asked them and they just shook their heads not a word of English and then she turned back to me and said thank you so she knew thank you that was it I'm amazed English is the language of the world at the moment how do you not teach your children English at least basic English it something I've noticed in Slovakia and that keeps reinforcing it I don't know why all right let's get to the bottom and that was the hike to Selesky dome I hope you enjoyed watching it I enjoyed making it now go back get out of these wet boots dry off a bit take a shower no take a shower then dry off a bit and then I think I'll go get some <laughs> better clothes I need to be better equipped uh, it's supposed to rain all week. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.